No, I started out 40 years ago, and a neighbor actually brought me over and showed me. And the, uh, you know, I'd been watching the emergency program on television with Roy Johnny and Roy, and I thought, gee, that would be nice. And uh, so he said, you ought to take a first aid course. So I did, and uh, you know, one thing led to another, and I've been doing it the 40 years. And. Uh, when the Penfield Volunteer Ambulance rolls out the door on any Wednesday, chances are Hugh Franklin will be behind the wheel, just as he has been for the past 40 years. You know, I've, I've always felt you need to give something back to your community, and this has been a, uh, a good way to do it. I've really, uh, really enjoyed it, and it's really satisfying. Satisfaction has changed over the years, just as the times have changed. It's gotten a lot more sophisticated in 40 years. I mean, we didn't have computers in those days. Uh, um, CPR even hadn't even been invented, so the, the technologies improve, the, uh, the, the services we deliver, I mean, we, we, we do more things. Uh, we, can, we can actually do more for people now than we could 40 years ago. It's been amazing, the, the growth. Hugh is part of the Wednesday team, often riding with Lori Heiss. Hugh's a wonderful human being, and uh, through his competent, caring, and humorous ways, he can make even the sickest patient actually smile by the time we get to the hospital. An older person, an older lady that uh, will end up with a, 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 a fall, a broken hip or something. Say, you know, this is my favorite kind of call. And she says, what do you mean? I said, well, when I heard there was a fallen woman at the nursing home, I just ran for that ambulance, you know. And he cares a lot about people. And when we go out, take a very, very sick person to the hospital, by the end, they're almost smiling, mm. even smiling a little bit. He has a very caring way. He's very humorous and uh, they seem to relax, get calm, and actually smile by the time we get to the hospital. Hugh Franklin, 27,371 hours. Lori has kept track of Hugh's hours, and that is a lot of math. And if my calculation is right, that comes out to be working full-time, 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year for 13.2 years, all yeah. voluntarily. Wow. Pat Markovitz got involved because of Hugh. Oh, it was 1978, and my children were trying to destroy themselves one at a time. And Hugh Franklin had been a friend of ours for several years, and he says, it's time to take a first aid course. <laughs> so I did. I came over and went through the advanced first aid, and then he says, well, now you have to join the Corps. I said, no, I can't do that. I joined the Corps. And long about 1980, he had already taken the paramedic course at the time. I said, you really got to do that. And I said, Hugh, I can't do that. So I did all the training initially with him and uh, got me kicking and screaming into the core, which has made a big difference in my life. And ask Pat or Lori or another member of that Wednesday crew, Ann Crittell, to sum up Hugh in one word, it just might be vomit. And it's really kind of amusing. Hugh does not like vomiting calls. And if we get a call that comes in on the radio and it says it's a vomiting, Hugh and Lori will switch places <laughs> because he says he can handle anything, give him traffic accidents, give him babies being birthed, but no vomiting. <laughs> Hugh and I trade off. I'll drive one Wednesday night and he'll medic and then we'll switch off just to keep our skills up. But if the call comes in as a sickness, he asks me very nicely if I'll be medic because <laughs> When the person throws up, he throws up. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, taught me a long time ago how to avoid vomiting in the back of the rig when patients did it. And, uh, and it got so, when I was working with him, he pushed me in the door first when any time he t <laughs> talked about vomiting at some point in time. Aside from the vomit issue, his gentle humor seems to win top honors. But the, uh, you know, with the well, taking the patient out of the ambulance, say, are you having fun yet? You know, and people, uh, they, uh, uh, they don't. If they don't think they're going to die, if you're going to joke with them, I can't be dying because he's kidding around with me. He wouldn't do that if I was really serious. And that takes the edge off. That makes people, you know, they feel better and they they actually do better because they uh, there's just a little bit of humor and a little bit of levity along the line. And uh, so and that's that was that's kind of my claim to fame. You know, it's uh, I make it work. He does make it work, and that's why he's an inspiration to others. He's just been able to persevere through the years. He doesn't get discouraged. He just keeps going. But he's an excellent tutor and trainer at the same time. And so tonight, our bright spot shines on Hugh Franklin, saving lives for 40 years in Penfield. And his paycheck? Just satisfaction. At the end of the day, you know that you've, uh, you've made a difference in the community, and it's, uh, it means a lot. It does. <laughs>